keep new cases from entering our shores, we will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. Thailand has moved to close its land borders to slow the spread of COVID-19. Save more lives. And that's why we've been asking people to stay at home during this pandemic. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought unprecedented challenges to people all over the world. For many, the restrictions meant that they were unable to visit their loved ones in person. For a person living alone and away from a loved one, I was very, very sad. My mom was hospitalized, so with the very strict restrictions. So we couldn't see her, we couldn't be with her when she was checked in. When you hear all these news, how much or how many people are afflicted and also how many didn't make it, it made us feel extremely worried. And so the distance between us and our loved ones felt even further away. Malayo kasi ang mga parents namin, um, nasa US po sila. Nag-aalala po talaga ako dahil Ang mga parents ko po ay ano na, matatanda na rin. They couldn't allow us to move from one town to another town. I miss my family because they were far away from me. I was scheduled po to have a flight April 2020. Tapos nagkaroon po ng pandemic ng March 2020. So we need a span of one month. Parang sobra excited po. Tapos yun po, biglang nawala kasi nga nakansal lahat ng flight. The Iglesia Ni Cristo, or the Church of Christ, was not immune to the effects of the pandemic and its restrictions, especially when large gatherings and travel restrictions were imposed. The feeling of longing that many people felt was the same feeling felt by the Executive Minister of the Church of Christ, Brother Eduardo V. Manalo, when he was not able to visit the church members in person. Sa mga panahong yun, dahil nga sa halos may mga ipinatutupad na lockdown, may mga restriction, ay nakapag-uusap kami ng kapatid na Eduardo Manalo. Ang sabi niya, sabik na sabik siyang makita ang mga kapatid na personal. Madalaw sila. Makumusta yung kanilang kalagayan. Kaya nga lang, dahil nga sa restriction, hindi niya magawa. Pero mararamdaman natin na kung papaanong nananabik ang iglesia na muli siyang makadaupalan, ganun din ang kanyang pananabik higit pa na makadaupalan ang mga kapatid. Kailanman, hindi nawawagli sa kanyang alaala ang mga kapatid. We are very well aware that before the pandemic, he was without rest, visiting members of the congregation all over the world. Now, during the pandemic, we could see also how much the executive minister longed to see the brethren. Because during the entire time also, we would have our uh, video conferencing worship services that he was leading, where he would make sure also not only that the members could see him, but he also could see the members in the different locations. In his great desire to bring God's message as repeated throughout many of the worship services, because he wants to make sure that not even one member of the Church of Christ gets lost on the way to salvation. mga nangyayari ngayon na hindi pangkardiwan sa mundo at sa ating buhay, isa lang palang ibig sabihin niya, malapit na ang araw ng ating ano, kaligtasan. Hindi na magtatagal, darating na ang ating Panginoong Sokristo. Sa makatwid, kung meron man tayong mga bagay na nasasagupa ngayon dito sa daigdig na mga hindi pangkaraniwang bagay, Eh, hindi tayo dapat mabahala. Hindi tayo dapat masiraan ng loob. 
sapagkat kaya nangyayari. Yung mga bagay niyan, ang ibig sabihin noon, malapit na ang ating kaligtasan. Sa makatwid, kaunting panahon na lang ang ating ipagtitiis. At matatapos na ang lahat ng hirap na ating nasasagupa sapagkat tayo ay makakaasa doon sa pangako ng ating Panginoong Diyos na kaligtasan sa atin na mga hinirang ng ating Panginoong Diyos sa mga huling araw na ito. Ang sabi sa atin ng Biblia, ang Diyos ay siyang humahayo sa unahan mo. Siya anyang lalakad na kasama mo. Hindi kanya bibiguin. Hindi ka anya bibitawan. Hindi kanya pababayaan. Kaya tama ang sabi ng Biblia, huwag mong pabayaan na ikaw ay magkaroon ng karuwagan, ng pagurong, Huwag kang matakot, huwag kang masiraan ng loob, malungkot, mangamba, o matakot sa pagkabahala, sapagkat ang Diyos ang siyang hahayo sa unahan ng bawat isa sa atin. Hindi tayo pababayaan ng ating Panginoong Diyos. Alam niyo, kumpleto eh, yung lahat ng kailangan natin para tayo makalampas. When we do get to talk and call each other, Obviously, it's never the same without having them just right beside you where you could just hug them. But now, we're across each other, but there's like a screen in the middle. Every day naman po kami nagbibideo call, pero iba pa rin po yung feeling na kasama mo sila ng personal. My mom and dad would always remind me that we'll just have to keep our prayers, our devotional prayers, so that sooner rather than later that we will be together. There's something that um, my parents are always uh, reminding me when I talk with them that, you know, there's not anything like hindering me from, you know, being active in church. That's what they're also really grateful for, that they know that as long as I'm a member of the Church of Christ and they know I'm active in my duties and I continue to worship even if it's online, they know that I will always have that strength from within because of God. At airports nationwide today, hugs, tears, and laughter as Americans reunited with family and friends. It was a good timing because that was the year where was my mom going to be celebrating her 60th birthday. You know, I was just um, really happy to be able to go and, uh, you know, spend time with them. I was super excited. I researched all the things that I need to do, all the things I need to have. Sobra pong tuwa namin nung mabalitaan namin na magkakaroon na kami ng chance na pwede namin silang dalawin sa US. At um, sabik na sabik po ako mayakap ang parents ko. It was an answered prayer for us. And uh, we know that we won't take this opportunity for granted. I called my mom and the family members in the village. That have you had the news? They told me what? What did they say? I told them they have removed their travel restrictions. We can finally travel and come visit you. Kaya nung medyo lumuwag-luwag na, inalam nila ano ba ang maibibigay ng gobyerno sa atin na guidelines para huwag nating masira naman yung mga health protocol na ipinatutupad ng gobyerno, na yun ay maipatupad. Pero at the same time, magawa natin na yung pagdalaw. Ang ating Panginoong Diyos, ang sabi sa atin ng Biblia, Siya ang ating kanlungan. Siya niya ang ating muog, mataas na tore. Sa makatwid anumang bagay na lulusob sa atin, na mabibigat na problema, anumang bagay na pangyayari sa buhay na ito na hindi pangkaraniwan, ang masasagupa natin, hindi tayo makakaya na mapagtagumpayan ng lahat ng iyon sapagkat protektado tayo ni Nino ng Diyos. Kaya ang isang Iglesia ni Cristo hindi kitigil sa pagsamba. Ang Iglesia ni Cristo hindi papayag na siya ay hindi kasangkot sa mga gawain sa loob ng Iglesia. Ang Iglesia ni Cristo kinakailangan nakita mo yung uri ng kanyang pamumuhay, yung hinahanap ng ating Panginoong Diyos na kailangang taglay niya. Ang isang iglesia ni Kristo, kung kinakailangan siyang humawak ng tungkulin, hahawak siya ng tungkulin. Nananangan siya sa ating Panginoong Diyos 
umaasa at may kumpiyansa siya sa Panginoong Diyos, ano man ang maging sitwasyon, hindi siya pababaya ng ating Panginoon sapagkat nang hahawak siya doon sa mga itinuro sa Kanya na salita ng Diyos. Kahit na hindi maganda ang panahon, gagawin mo yung mga kaloban ng Diyos na kinakailangan mong gawin. Ano man ang sitwasyon ng ating buhay, nakikitang tayo ay masigla sa ating mga paglilingkod sa ating Panginoong Diyos. Kaya dapat tuloy-tuloy ang ating kasiglahan, mga kapatid. Kung gusto niyong lalo kayong mapalapit sa ating Panginoong Diyos, bigyan natin siya ng kasiyahan. Gawin natin yung mga bagay na nakalulugod sa Kanya. Hindi po niya tayo pababayaan. Kaya nga, nung magkaroon ng pagkakataon, hindi ko malilimutan, ang unang-unang paglabas na ginawa niya ay niya sa lokal ng Capitol. Pinili niya yung malaki-laking venue na makakadali yung makapatid, na masusunod natin yung health protocol, at pumunta sila para pangasiwaan ang pagsamba. At nagsunod-sunod na yun. Tuloy-tuloy yung kanilang ginawang pangasiwa hanggang sa ngayon. We were all very emotional and we can't believe we were actually hugging. And that finally came. That moment when I st stepped out of the, the plane, I was just really bursting with excitement. And then when I was going there through the lobby and I was looking for them, I saw my mom. And then next thing I knew, I was hugging all of them. I saw mom. At first, it was no words, right? It's, you're just there holding each other tight with, with no words, you know? And at the end of the day, it's like, okay, this is how much I love them. This is how much I miss them. Nung makita kong kumakaway ang mama ko, hindi ko napigilan umiyak. Nagpapasalamat talaga ako sa Panginoon na finally, eto na yun, nayakap ko na rin sila. There were a lot of hugs and kisses, a lot of catching up that was done. Especially to see our kids be happy with our parents as well, and our parents seeing our kids. That was a truly enjoyable moment. I was so shocked. I found them there. They were already at the bus station waiting for me to just get down. Oh, when I get down, they were so happy to see me. I hugged them all. One of the happiest moments here. Hindi naman po kasi ako masyado emotional, pero during that time, naiyak po ako na makita ko sila. It had been a long time since I'd been able to uh, worship all together with my family in the same worship service. Um, but even more special, you know, during the time that I've been away, um, my dad actually became a, a deacon. Pastoral visitations were regularly held in different parts of the Philippines. And on February 26, 2023, the executive minister was able to conduct the first pastoral visit outside of the Philippines during the COVID-19 pandemic. Mga mahal na mga kapatid, ang totoo ay kinasabi ka namin ang sandaling ito sapagkat pagkatapos na ang mga restriction sa pandemya ay ibinaba ng mga gobyerno, aming nais na muling magawang madalaw ang lahat ng mga kapatid, hindi lamang doon sa Pilipinas, kundi maging sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo. Para nang sa ganun ay matiyak namin na kayo ay nasa uring maliligtas kailanman dumating ang ating Panginoong Sokristo sa kanyang ikalawang pagparito. Bakas na bakas ang kasabikan ng mga kapatid. Kagala kanila na makitang personal din ang ating tagapamahalang pangkalatan sa ganitong panahon. At ang kanilang kasabikan ay hindi nila mapigilan. May mga nakikita tayong kapatid, gumuluha. Dahil nakita nila at nakadaupang palad pa ang ating tagapamahalang pangkalatan sa kabila ng ganitong sitwasyon ngayon. Narinig nila higit sa lahat yung pagtuturo, yung pangangarap. Yung sigla naroon eh. 
nagiging inspirado sila. Eh. Nare-rejuvenate, di ba? Makikita natin yung mga kapatid, hindi nawala yung alam ng pananampalta, yung sigla sa paglilingkod. Bagaman ang karamihan sa atin ay hindi na natin inabot ang panahon ng pumumahala sa iglesia ng kapatid na Felix Manalo ang sugo ng Diyos sa mga huling araw. Subalit, nakatala naman sa kasaysayan ng iglesia ang tungkol sa mga pangangasiwa noon ng sugo. 1918, nagkaroon ng Spanish flu. May mga pag-uusig na nasa gupa rin ng iglesia noon. Subalit, patuloy ang pangasiwa ng sugo. Ang pagdalaw niya sa mga kapatid, sa iba't ibang mga dako. Kung anong damdamin ng ating kasalukuyang namamala, yun ganun din ang nasasabi ng mga kapatid nating nakasaksi noon na damdamin ng sugo pag dinadalaw nila ang mga kapatid. para mangyari para sa buhay natin yon Ano kinakailangan natin gawin? Gawin natin yung tunay na pagsampa sa ating Panginoong Diyos. Gawin natin yung lahat ng bagay na inaasahan ng Diyos sa atin. At pagka ginawa natin yan, hindi niya tayo ang mabuhal. Tutulungan niya tayo sa panahon ng ating pangangailangan. Ibubukas niya ang kanyang palad sa mga bagay na ating kailangan para ibigay sa atin. Kailan? Gawin nating totohanan ang ating mga paglilingkod sa ating Panginoong Diyos. Kaya kinakailangan ni Listo tayo. Huwag tayong pumayag na yung mga maling kaisipan ang siyang makaimpluwensya sa atin. Dapat mamalagi tayo ng hahawak kung ano ang itinuro ng ating Panginoong Diyos sa atin. Ingatan natin ang ating pananampalataya sa paraang tayo ay mamalagi sa panghahawak sa mga aral ng Diyos na itinuro sa atin. Huwag tayong papayag na maimpluwensyahan tayo ng mga isipan ng kung sino-sino kahit gaano kaganda pa yung sinasabi nila pero labag naman sa aral ng Diyos para hindi po tayo mapahamak. Despite the challenges brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic, the Iglesia ni Cristo or the Church of Christ continue to grow and expand. The church has now reached 165 countries and territories. And during the pandemic alone, the church built and renovated 540 houses of worship worldwide, ordained 544 ministers, and added 14 bishops to their respective local congregations. Church members' steadfastness and dedication in sharing their faith with other people are also evident, resulting in the continuous growth in the number of people joining the church. Another amazing thing when it comes to how the brethren are helping when it comes to our care for humanity, uh, helping those victims of calamities, helping those in poor circumstances, when many of the brethren themselves are not rich is because of the richness of faith, because of God's words being taught to us. Alam niyo, lagi namin ipinapaalala sa iglesia ang mga bagay na ating kinakaharap sa buhay na ito sa ating panahon. Kasi hindi na natin dapat isipin pang buputi ang kalagay ng buhay sapagkat itinakda na ng Diyos yan sapagkat malapit na ang araw ng ating kaligtasan. Ang kailangan ngayon ay makapanghawak tayong mabuti sa ating pananampalataya huwag tayong makabitiw ang dapat nating ipagmakaawa sa ating Panginoon na yung kanyang pagliligtas sana'y mamalagi sa ating buhay yung kanyang pagsasanggalang, lagi nating matamo sa ating buhay. Pagka ang Diyos ang kasama natin at katulong natin sa ating buhay, yung kanyang pagliligtas at yung kanyang pagsasanggalang ay nasa atin, makalalampas tayo sa lahat ng pagsubok.
we can see the eagerness, the desire of the brethren whenever we visit them in different parts. They're all saying the same thing, how they long to be led in worship services by our executive minister. Many are also writing. I mean, imagine just the other day in our office alone, in just one day we received about 20 to 30 letters saying the same thing, how they hope the executive minister would visit them. Malugod po namin kayong inaanyayahan dito po sa District of New Zealand. And I've just been truly honored to have him there in Cleveland because that would be a blessing and I know that God sent him there. Isa po itong napakalaking biyaya para sa atin ang madalaw muli ng ating tagapamahalang pangkalatan ang distrito po ng Macau. Sana po ay mapangasiwaan po niya ang aming pagsamba. We would like to invite you po to visit our district. I hope that someday soon that he'll be able to officiate our worship service. Sabik na sabik po kami na mapangasiwaan po ninyo ang aming pong isinasagawa ang mga pagsamba. Nais ko pong iparating sa inyo ang kasabikan po ng puso ko na sana po madalaw niyo po ang aming lokal. Excited po talaga kami kung mabibigyan po kami ng pagkakataon na makapakinig ng inyong uh, pagtuturo ng mga salita ng ating Panginoong Diyos ng, sa personal po. Fahal do aldo of Imanalo. Tao po kayo visitin nyo na kurigasyo lokal Petsigua, District Eklasastik de Karayi. I would like you to invite you to local congregation of Miami, District of Caribbean. I would like to meet you in person. Brother Eduardo V. Manalo, it would mean so much po if you would please visit us here in the District of Thailand. Dear brother, it would be so wonderful for us to have you visit us here at the local congregation of Monterey in Northwest California. Dear brother Eduardo, we would like for you to visit local of Concord, Eastern Northwest California. It would be a great blessing for us. It would mean so much if you would please visit us here at the local congregation of Winslow, New Jersey. Sabi nila, ito narinig ko mismo ipinahayag nila. Kung ano yung itinakda ng Diyos, kung hanggang saan na lang, talagang doon na lang. Pero gagawin ko yung aking tungkulin. Gagawin ko yung aking pananagutan. Diyos ang bahala kung hanggang doon na lang yung aking panahon, hanggang doon na lang. Pero gagawin ko yung aking tungkulin sa panahon na ibinigay ng Diyos sa akin na kaya ko ba?